yellowdingy.com. Hey guys, welcome to yellowdingy.com. It's Mario, and I'm doing a game glance on Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. set and alert at any time a new record is set. So this Need for Speed game is somewhere between a fantasy racer and a technical racer. The name of the game is Sports Cars, with Drifting and NOS. The biggest new thing in the game is the helmet cam, where the camera is the driver's head. This is really useful in drifting because you'll always look where you're going, rather than looking straight ahead. As you go through the career mode you'll gain XP, which unlocks new challenges. As for the cars, they will be rewards at times or you can buy them. You can also tune up your cars in the garage, with parts or mods, which is all very extensive. The actual racing offers different assists, which range from braking assist to a racing line, to various others. The controls for the most part are pretty good. The drifting at times is wonky, but overall it works. And yes, you can play online. You've got racing, time attack battles, and duels, which are one-on-one -on -one races with specific requirements. And yes, the auto log is back, and it's still useless. The graphics look good. There's true attention to detail. The cars look amazing, and when they take damage, it looks good. Even the brakes will glow when they heat up. However, the graphics can be glitchy, with random floating car debris on the track, which you have to avoid, otherwise it'll count as a crash. The audio also sounds impressive. The engine roars, the brakes doing their thing, and the rubber on the tires holding on for dear life. It all sounds great. But you step your game up and I'll take you to the mecca of drifting, Ebisu in Japan. Prove yourself and you'll get an invitation to Southern California's House of Drift, Irwindale Speedway. As you approach the other side of the figure eight, quickly lift off the throttle and turn the wheel in the opposite direction. Shift 2 Unleashed is not a technical racer because the game encourages taking too much speed into corners and drifting around corners is apparently a good thing. That's all fine just as long as you don't expect a racing simulation. The game plays well and it presents good, however overall it lacks polish, but it seems to be a step in the right direction. That was Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed and that was a game glance from yellowdingy.com.